The Monoflex M100 OTR system will organize repairs in all areas of radial and cross ply tires from 1300 to 4200 OTR and 14424 to 65 45 45 tractor, including low profile. Additional components can be supplied to extend this range to cover larger or smaller tires. To assemble the OTR system, repair the tire in the normal way and select the appropriate components from the application chart provided according to the tire size. These will consist of a control panel, a harness or outside curing pack with flat air bag, an outside heat pad and an inside heat pad, a cylinder air bag and when indicated by the application chart, an inside flat air bag. There are two control panels available for use with the OTR system, the M100 Cal and the MC Compact. The choice of control panel depends upon existing and future repair requirements. The function of Monoflex control panels is to control the temperature of the heat pads using information transmitted by a thermocouple located in each heat pad. The temperature is preset at 140 degrees centigrade, 284 degrees Fahrenheit. The panel also controls the air pressure applied by the airbags which is preset by adjusting the regulator knobs inside the panel. To assemble, lay out the appropriate harness straps. For tire sizes from 1300 to 26.5, the TR2621 curing pack containing the outside flat airbag is used with the five TROC harness straps. However, for the larger tire sizes, from 2700 to 4200, the M45-6 six-strap harness with two harness guides is used as follows. The M45-6 harness straps and buckles should be positioned so that the strap side of the harness guides are facing the floor. Place a selected outside airbag on the harness with the valve facing down and towards the buckles. If using an airbag with a blue window, the blue window should be facing upwards. Dust the selected heat pad with talc and place it over the outside airbag. The tire should now be lowered or rolled into position with the repair area central over the heat pad and the lugs packed out. To check the components are correctly positioned over the repair, Lift the assembly up against the side wall of the tire and bring straps and buckles through over the bead. The top of the airbag and the finger holes at the top of the heat pad should be in line with the bead. And the smallest harness guide should be positioned between the beads so that the ratchet buckles are halfway down the side wall. After dusting the selected inside heat pad with talc, place it centrally over the patch with the finger holes against the bead. The leads should be at the top. When the application chart requires the use of an inside flat air bag, this should be placed centrally over the inside heat pad. Tuck in the ends of the selected cylinder air bag and fold lengthways. Place centrally over the inside heat pad with the blue window in the cover just below the bead facing the patch. Switch on air at the panel where the pressures have been preset at 32 PSI for the cylinder bag and 28 PSI for the flat air bags. Connect the relevant airline to the cylinder bag and partially inflate to form the shape. Check that the bag is positioned centrally with the blue window just below the bead, so that the leads and hoses aren't trapped. Switch off the air to deflate the bag. The harness can now be brought into position with the buckles staggered, ready to fasten. Fasten the harness buckles and tighten. When locked, the straps should be snug, but not too tight. You should be able to lift the straps slightly. Switch on air and continue inflation of the cylinder airbag. 
Whilst this is going on, connect the inside and outside heat pad leads and switch on timer. If using an inside flat airbag, inflation should commence. When the pressure gauge on the airline to the cylinder bag shows approximately 15 PSI. Roll or lift the tire off the floor. Commence inflation of the outside airbag by connecting the airline. When the control panel indicates that the curing temperature has been reached, set the timer for recommended curing time, depending upon the thickness of rubber being cured. After the cure is complete and the timer has switched itself off, disconnect the heat pad leads and airlines before dismantling the equipment.